Good morning everyone and today guys we're at the character warehouse and it is 10 o'clock and it's just opened so surprise there's not actually much of a big queue today so here's the entrance that we was waiting at just at the side here but there's actually another entrance down the side here and there was a lot more people queuing around this side oh look at this you can dress up as your very own stormtrooper comes complete with a mask and this one is 19.99 is normally $65 in the parks. You can even dress up as Captain Jack Sparrow. And this one's also $20, which was originally $65 in the park. But on the back, you get some trousers and also a hat and some boots. It's not really a huge selection of Christmas stuff here, but these baubles are pretty cool. These are $25, down from $55. And you can have your Jack Bauble. It's quite big, and he's $8.99, but normally in the parks you will pay $23. And he's glass. Hey, Christmas stocking fillers. A big bad wolf fill. $15. Big bad wolf. Yeah. How much is he? $9.99. No. I believe these are still in the parks, Mickey Mouse tees, and these are currently, oh, this one's not been marked down, $29.95, oh yes they have, so now they're $12.99. What have you got here, Lenny? Doggy bandanas. Doggy bandanas, oh, that could be going up Bailey. I know, look. Awesome. You've got to have some doggy Bandana. bandanas. Pets, pets. How much is he? $5.99. They also do some really big size in here as well. So you've got your 4XL, which is pretty big. I'm sure I've seen a 5XL, yep. There's a 5XL as well. Ah, there's loads more 5XLs. So, I think they cater for all sizes. These mugs are really good value for money as well. So normally these are $15 in the parks, but over here at the Character Warehouse they are $5.99. So there's lots of them around here. I even purchased this one six months ago and we paid the full price of $15. So now they sell them here for just $5.99. So these ones, these Star Wars, are actually even cheaper. These ones are $4.99 and here we are we've got a space slug Star Wars Episode 5 and these are $3.99 This is how girls make sure they fit. <laughs> and how much is this one? $12.99 Oh look these are pretty cool. Vera Bradley, I believe these guys make the handbags in Disney as well. But these are $50 down from $99. There's plenty of ladies Star Wars tops and Disney Cruise Line as well. There's a lot of Disney Cruise Line stuff here. I mean it's only $10 down from $50. It's just outstanding really, isn't it? It's crazy. What have you found here? Hold it up. Ooh, I like Mickey and Minnie together. It's lovely, isn't it? I don't know if it's going to fit me though. I think it fits you nice. Boom! How much is this one? Uh, $19.99. This one's down from $55, isn't it? Yeah. $55 in the park, $20 here. <laughs> it's be our little secret. There's no reductions on any of the sweets, I don't believe. So all of Goofy sweets are still the same price. There's plenty of kids toys in here as well. So these are normally $20 in a part, but here they are $9.99. What have we got here, Lou? They're Haunted Mansion toys. It's like Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> in the little car, isn't it? Yeah, from the Haunted Mansion ride. How much is it? 
$20 down from... Grab a Pumba quickly. Look at Pumba. And he's got some bits in his mouth, isn't he? Some bugs. He's got more under his tongue. He's eating his grubs. Pumba is about 10 Correction, Pumba is 12 99 down from 25 Wow, wow, wow. We have been in there. <laughs> Big shopping. So we've been in there. see the pond yeah so we've actually been there for an hour and a half we've done an hour's browsing and half an hour of that queuing. was queuing so it gets really popular so get there for 10 o'clock when it opens it is open late but soon as you soon as you've got your bits you need get yeah, out go straight to cashier and get out but it is really good now it's so busy i'm sorry i didn't get more footage maybe really we can good. try and do a haul when we get back, when we get back of what, yeah, we got. Of what we got. Something else, there's no Disney Wi-Fi in there, so you can't get Disney Wi-Fi. And also, if you want to pay on your Magic Band, you can do, and they'll charge it back to your room. So that's pretty cool as well. Oh, it's dangerous as well. <laughs> dangerous, yeah. After all of that hard work shopping, I think we're going to check out a Denny's. So this Denny's is actually on the International Drive right by the Central Florida Parkway and International Drive cross section or intersection. But as you can see over here, look, we are right behind SeaWorld. And this is the back end of Mako. Lely really likes Denny's. We actually haven't had breakfast out yet, have we? No, we haven't had breakfast out yet. So we're gonna grab some food. We've been seated now, haven't we? Been what? Seated now. Yes. We have. And look! Oh, look at this. I've forgotten how good Denny's looks. But they've even got pecan pie, they've got cinnamon sugar, pancake, puppies, milkshake, pumpkin pie. Wow, orange juice, thank you very much. Oh. And you've got a tea here. I'm trying my first American tea. We just, we used to, uh, we're just used to an English breakfast tea, aren't we? Yeah, this is a, this is a thing for breakfast tea. Very hot. American favourite tea, a Lipton. I'll give it a go. Oh, by the way, guys, you have a lot of half and half over here, which is half cream and half milk. I might ask her just for milk if I can get one. I like my cream in my coffee, that's lovely, but I don't really like cream in tea. No. See, nothing is too much trouble in here. Lenny's just asked for some normal milk because they only do half and half. So she's asked for normal milk, not a problem. Must be used to us Brits, awkward Brits. I know, and that's the most embarrassing thing, so I was like, can I have some normal milk? <laughs> so I've gone for the orange juice, which is 2.79, um, and Lily's gone for the coffee. The well, tea. that's a lie, she's gone for the tea. But yeah, anyway, the teas have got three refills, and also the coffees. So if you want any of them, that's not a problem. So we're having breakfast this morning, but we've also heard on the grapevine that they do amazing burgers as well. So not only do you get one of your lunchtime style dinners. Oh, plenty of skillets here. That was pretty good. Sizzling skillets. Sandwiches. Subs, but look at these. So we're going to have to come back, but look at these. Really good. What are these? Are these they're just normal fries? No, I don't think so. They're different. Wavy cut French fries. Wow. Or you can have hash browns, seasonal fruit. And... Whoa. Wow, look at that double cheeseburger. Look. Delish. Look at that double cheeseburger. How much is that one? 10 59 yeah, very, very nice. These diner melts, look at that. I mean, I don't think you physically get any more cheese and ham between that bread. <laughs> and they have the salads as well, which is good. But I might have to see if I can squeeze a slice of this in. The pumpkin pie. 
I have to try real American pumpkin pie. Ooh. And you've got to try the pecan pie so we can have a bit of both. Bit, bit, of, bit of both, yeah? But I kid you not, the best thing on any menu in here is the hash browns. They're like yeah. grated potato. Really nice, isn't it? Yeah. How's your tea, by the way? You know what? It's the best cup of tea I've ever had in America. Wow, Will. Yeah. Is this a good breakfast or is this a good the breakfast? Size of it. I don't ever remember it being this big. Okay, so we've got yeah, your hash, eggs, uh, sausages, bacon, and then it's a like bay. It's, like it's, it's yeah, it's like a bit of gammon basically. Pancakes. This is my breakfast. Similar, just without the hash. Toast. And then look at the size of that. Oh my god, there's no way I'm going to eat any of that. But yes, it looks delicious. Get tucked in, babe. The sausages are lovely. And so is the bacon. <laughs> nom nom nom. Streaky bacon in the US is the best. So that's it for us here at Denny's. Just for the record, though, you actually pay at the till when you go out, a bit like IHOP. Who remembers this pirates attraction in Hurricane Irma? I think this dome was one of the few things that really got battered in Hurricane Irma. The dome has actually got an 80 foot sort of tear out of the side of it. As you can see from there, it's they've ceased operating at the minute, as far as I believe. Um, but the roof, it's not just one that you can just go to Home Depot and buy. It's, yeah, it's a custom made dome. So, I believe 200 employees were affected by this. And uh, I believe are out of work at the moment as a result of it. Pirate show, dinner experience. I hope you open again. I really do. So sad. Like 200 people have been affected who are employed there. They don't know when they're going to be getting their jobs back. A lot of waiters, waitresses, um, obviously the cast members who do the shows. So um, we just thought we'd drop in because we did see some live footage um, by uh, uh, an American um, TV presenter. She sort of went down there and had a little look at what what happened to it via Irma. Um, and uh, so we thought we'd drop by and see if it's come along at all, but it's not looking great for them, is it? Doesn't look like anything's happened. Since this vlog was filmed back in November 2017, Pirates Dinner Adventures website has announced that it will reopen again in 2018. On that note, thanks very much for watching, and we'll be back again next week.